Hey girly pups, long time no see. Hi, hey, how's everyone? I hope I've not missed too much. So this is my first video in a whole week because I didn't post, oh, it was a week and a half. I didn't post for a while, I'm sorry. I mean, it wasn't that long. People like don't post for a month and they're like, oh, hey guys, sorry, I forgot. I'm like, oh, I feel really bad. Like, it's not been, I just. Hi! Today, the vibes are high, the positivity is flowing, and um, I look a little bit crazy. <laughs> I'm on like a, is it called like serotonin? Is that what it's called when you're like happy and you get like a burst of energy and you just wanna like dance? Boogie wanna. That's where I'm at right now. I don't know if that's serotonin. So basically, I've finished my first year at uni in terms of all my classes and all my assessments. Finito. Um, the only thing I have left is cheerleading, which I am not complaining about, but that's so, yeah, that's where I'm at right now in my life. So, mm, 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 mm. someone, someone calm me down. I'm way too excited right now. Anyway. Okay, so basically I'm going to answer your questions about my first year at uni, about uni in general, whilst cleaning my room and getting my life together because honestly, I've got zero food in the fridge. If it's there, it's probably gone off. My bed's not made. I've got clothes everywhere. Huge pile of washing. I look, I'm wearing this outfit. This is not my outfit of the day. It's not. So I'm wearing this outfit. Doobie doobie doo 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 Basically I was just trying on outfits and I was like this is so cute. I love it. I actually don't know what's up with me today. I'm I'm like tired and it's making me high, but I don't know. I don't have an explanation. Focus on me. Let's do questions. <laughs> okay, the first question was are you doing a degree in drama? And the answer is yes. And then the second one was, if you were not doing a degree in drama, what would you do? Like, what other degree? And honestly, I've got absolutely, I don't know. I really actually don't know. Because, like, musical theatre, I guess. But, like, sis is not a singer. She does not sing. So that would be, like, <laughs> not cute at all. It would be really not cute. So, probably... I don't know, I don't know. To be fair, I do really enjoy the theory side of drama, and that's kind of like a mix of like, sociology and psychology and... History? <laughs> it's a mix of that and something else, I don't know what the other thing is. But I kind of find like the psychology side quite interesting. Like, I did like a really interesting essay. It was about like the ethics of like, you interview someone and then use their story for like a show. Like, how's that gonna affect that person and the audience and like where does the responsibility like that was interesting so i don't know if that's like psychology or sociology i think it might be psychology i don't really know but either way i can't see myself doing anything other than drama because i just really like this i really like it do you like my t-shirt it's supposed to have a lie on it because it's like white white lies i like it let's go over there the next question was, what's the most fun part and the most, like, worst stressful part of uni? So, I'll start with the bad ones. So, most stressful part is probably, like, exam season or, like, deadline kind of time. Because it just gets really, really stressful and it's, like, there's, like, tension in the air. Everyone's stressed. Everyone's, like, having breakdowns and crying and it's just, like, a bit... <sighs> it's not the best. But... Like, it's not awful. It's not like, oh my god, this is the worst thing ever. It's just doable. Doable. It's just a bit stressful. Best part is friends, to be honest. And probably doing cheer or like whatever society you'd want to do. Because that's where I've made like pretty much all of my friends, like most of them. I have like a really cute little friendship group and we like met through cheer and through the chats that were for cheer like at the start of the year and yeah I think that's probably the best thing is like making really close friends and going to like doing the socials and like going out together and all of that it's so fun and also cheer because I waited all year for it like I think it would probably still be a personal highlight for me even if I was not online the whole year but cheer and also my end of year show but that's specific to a drama thing. End of your show, 
slash chair slash socials slash friends. That's it. That's it. Cut the cameras. Was it hard to adjust from college to uni? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So at college, I didn't do A-levels. I did a UAL, which is equivalent to A-levels or BTEC, but it's really practical based, which was good for me because I was like, I want to do acting. And that was super fun and fresh. But that course was like 70% practical work. There was not really any emphasis on written work. Like, obviously we had to do it, but it would be like, oh, and by the way, you've got an essay. And like, we just kind of threw it together. Bob's your uncle, that kind of stuff. Um, But this course is 60% written, I think. Pretty sure it's 60% written. 40% practical. So that was like a big change and there was like all this like stuff about like academic writing and like referencing and like all of that shabunko and I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing. It was weird and stressful because I was not used to that and also I just had a lot more work here than I ever did at college. A lot more like homework kind of things. A lot more essays and a lot more of that kind of stuff. It's also, I think college is kind of like if you're not doing as good as you could, like not even like if you're failing, but if you're not being your full potential, then like the teachers are like, oh, let's help you, let's do this, blah, blah, blah. But at uni, it's very much like you've got to help yourself. Like if you're not getting the grades you want to get, like your teachers and your lecturers aren't gonna be like, right, blah, 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 blah. you've got to like go to the library or read or do your homework or whatever. Just like put in that extra, extra mile of effort, which I never did at college. <laughs> It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I tidied up that bit, now I'm gonna tidy up my bed and I'm gonna change my outfit. But, next question is, what is the biggest life lesson that you've learned so far from uni? And I was like, hmm, this made me get all like, you know, all butterflies and not butterflies, like, all like, oh, okay, let's get deep. <laughs> biggest life lesson is, trust yourself and trust the process. That's it. No, I think that's it though, because like if you just said to me in my first time of uni in like November, oh Ellie, by summer you're gonna be the happiest you've ever been, you're gonna be having such a good time, I'd be like, no no, why are you why are you saying that to me? No I'm not. But here we are. <laughs> I'm really, really happy, doing really good and just like loving life, I don't know. So trust the process because even if it's not going great, like you will find your friends and you will end up doing what's right for you. Like really prioritize yourself. Sounds a little bit selfish, obviously like care for your friends and stuff, but if you're in a toxic environment, remove yourself. If you're not happy on your course, move course. Like, do you know what I mean? It's up to you and just trust your instincts and do what you gotta do to enjoy yourself really and trust the process because even if things are like oh then it can only go up and that's lovely so that's our deep chat and now i'm gonna tidy my bed for a little bit <laughs> next question is how did doing work online affect you here's lovely lottie lovely lottie too um i think it was right so i feel like doing work online is hard anyway but the things that made it hard for me is that my course is fairly practical because drama and that was first year, so it was like, <laughs> like really hard to make friends. That's so sad. Um, yeah, it's really sad. As soon as we were all in person, like my whole class got so close, and like they're all really lovely, and we all got on really well. But it's just really hard when you're online to like bond with people, and obviously like learning a show online was well a little bit hard um but i don't think it's like affected how well i've actually done because i think more well, i don't know my grades yet but i hope i did well <laughs> and now i'm gonna get changed because i don't know why i'm still wearing this so i changed by the way um i'm a little bit sunburned you can't really tell on camera but it's very hot i'm a bit burnt like here um my shoulders are a little bit so i'm going to a little vera and make them really nice Okay, um, but the next question was about accommodation and I had loads of questions about accommodation that were like, like what do you recommend? Like do you want to go for like a traditional uni halls kind of thing? Do you want to not live in student accommodation? Do you want to live in a studio or a ensuite or whatever? Honestly, it, there's so many factors to factor in and it's more personal. It's definitely not like a one size fits all or whatever kind of thing. 
So I started off in an ensuite room, but it was like, it was supposedly like one of the nicest combinations of expensive um, and I had an awful time. The room was absolutely minuscule, like I know all uni rooms or most uni rooms are small, but because I'm trying to film YouTube videos in there, so I need space for lighting and cameras and tripods and all of this, it just, it wasn't really working out for me and I didn't enjoy living there. There's also like the issue, for me personally, a shared kitchen was not a good vibe because it was left in such a mess, all the sinks were clogged up, there was like food all on the side, overflowing bins that no one wanted to take out, like it just wasn't enjoyable. Like I, I know that's kind of the uni experience but it's just not the one for me. I'm also allergic to like so much foods one of them ones and people would just like kind of leave it everywhere all over the side and like got to the point where i was like i literally just want to get takeaway every single day rather than risk cooking my food when i'm like probably just gonna have an anaphylactic shock and die like come on i'm not feeling the whole death thing today you know what i mean so yeah so i started off in that room and then i moved to a studio room in a different accommodation which has been a blessing for me. A studio isn't for everyone, and a lot of people are like, oh no, like studios are really unsociable, like that kind of thing. But at my accommodation, I don't think it's that unsociable at all, really. Like, there's been nights when I've met up with people from my accommodation and, like, I don't know, like, partied with them or whatever. Like, there's quite a lot of social people in my accommodation. I know that might not be the same for all studio accommodations, but for my case, it's fairly social. Like, social enough, I think. And all of my friends that I go out with loads aren't in my accommodation. They're not even in my old accommodation, like they're friends from cheerleading or friends that I've just met like through other friends, like that kind of thing. I think you really have to like think about yourself and your priorities. And I really was like, oh, I want the uni experience. Like I didn't want to just go for like the most uni room if you know what i mean i wanted to go for like one of the nicer ones but if you're living with uni students especially a lot of them gonna be messy and there's gonna be arguments all the time and it's gonna be dirty and i don't mind mess clearly my room's messy right now like that doesn't upset me too much but when there's food everywhere and stuff all on the floor and it's sticky and just not the one for me not the one for me do what's best for you also if your uni lets you make requests then definitely think about if you want to make those requests just be aware that if you're in a flat especially a big flat then you have no control and people tend not to be the most considerate but it's up to you and to be fair i know like some of my friends are in flats and have really got on great with their flatmates and like have the best time but for the most part people don't and that's okay too but yeah just smearing some aloe vera all over me i was really thinking i'd like do my makeup within this video and make myself look presentable but now i'm thinking nope i cannot be bothered anyways there was a couple of questions about cheerleading because that's the society that i do and i probably bang down about it all the time and put it on my story all the time but it's just because it's really fun and i just want to show off the funness and all that so someone asked is it hard or like embarrassing or anything to join a society such as cheer when you've not actually done it before and i would say a big fat no it's definitely not so i joined cheer not doing cheer before but i've done gymnastics before so i can tumble a little bit and I can like be flexible ugh, a bit so that works but there are so many people on cheer that have never done cheer before and most societies especially like sports societies like cheerleading, dancing, gymnastics, even probably team sports like football, rugby, all that kind of stuff. They have like levels of this, not levels of society, yeah levels, I don't even know. Basically so for me there's like a competitive team and a non-competitive team that does like shows and then there's a team that does like level two and the team to level one if that makes sense basically there's different levels and there's gonna be loads of people there that haven't done it before and just really want to try it so definitely if you're thinking about going for a society do it no questions asked sweetie pie how does uni work with schedules with cheerleading and uni so i think with societies they like schedule it normally practice would be at like eight o'clock at night so it's when everyone's definitely finished their classes and stuff so it doesn't really like yeah we have been doing it at seven in the morning because 
of like, because of like COVID and like booking space has been a bit weird. I don't really know, but we really know it's seven in the morning and that sounds awful, but it's all right. I actually really enjoyed waking up early. Is that nerdy? Probably, I don't care. So I think it's kind of worked out well for me and yeah, I think it's been manageable because cheerleading's like four hours a week. So it's like really not that much time and it's, at the minute it's been at seven in the morning so it's like I wouldn't even be up then so may as well, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, love? I think you do. And then two of the people on my cheer team asked, how did it feel hitting today? It felt amazing. <laughs> I don't even know what that was, but I was just really excited. I'm still in a good mood. I think that's where my good mood has come from. I just have like these bursts of pride. Like, I've just been doing it for six weeks and I'm like, oh my God, I love everyone so much. And I'm just like so happy. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so proud of you guys. Like, oh. I feel like everyone has like a bond and like, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm overexcited, but it was really good. And the other person asked, what is the best society at uni and captain? So. Best society is cheerleading and best captain is you, Elise. And also Chloe and Millie, but. Ciao, anyway, so I feel like there was another question and I cannot find it anywhere. So I'm gonna answer one more question and it's who's your favourite friend and why is it Aoife? <laughs> Exposing Mama Aoife. This is the tea. Well, actually, it was iced coffee and I finished it and I'm quite upset. And Lily got it me. That's why it says Lily on it. Anyway, um, exposing Mama Aoife. Aoife drop kicks me down a hill and we're not friends anymore. I'm just kidding. I love you, Aoife. Mwah. Um, and that's why you're my fave because you drop kicked me down the hill. Anyway, that is all for this video, guys. I feel like I've waffled a bit and I literally have to edit this in like an hour. So, oop, and it'll be fine and it's gonna be okay. But yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I hope this helped you if you were like thinking about going to uni and wanted answers to some of your questions or whatever. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on all of my social medias to stay up to date with what I'm doing. Don't forget to subscribe with the big red subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.